I have a 50 gallon gas water heater. It's called a select state high efficiency. And it will stay lit for a few minutes and then the, the, the burner will go off. So I read on the internet you can clean some parts on the burner. And I wanted to go ahead and show you what it looks like. This is inside where the burner sits. You can see some rust. I'm going to have to vacuum that out. Um, in the middle there, there is a screen which lets air into the bottom of the hot water heater which gives, allows the fire to light. I had to vacuum that from the bottom of the hot water heater and I'll show you the tool that I used to do that. I basically created a little PVC pipe with a elbow end and I duct taped it to my vacuum and I was able to take this and put it underneath the vents the bottom of the hot water heater to clean the mesh filter. It's actually a spark arrester and vent on the bottom of the hot water heater. To gain access to the inside where the burner resides I had to remove uh, two nuts from the inside plate which is right here and there's one of the nuts and then this was able to pull out. First I had to disconnect three different connections from the bottom of the temperature controller. We've got the pilot light gas, the regular gas, and then we have the heat sensor. Um, here's the burner. I'm going to have to vacuum this off with the rust so it will get a nice good flame. But the problem I'm having I believe is with the heat sensor. It's got some corrosion on it. You can see that it's got a white discoloration. So I need to carefully sand that and um, kind of make it like new. You've got on the left there, that's where the gas shoots out the pilot and it uh, goes onto the sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that with some sandpaper and reinstall this into the hot water heater and see if it works. Okay, I've sanded down the heat sensor and you can see now that it's a shiny aluminum metallic looking rod and there's no white buildup on it and hopefully this will allow my hot water heater to stay lit and to not detect an overheating sensation and again I also worked on underneath and vacuumed out the heat arrestor vent so let me go ahead and put it back together and uh, turn the gas back on and see how it works. To get the burner back inside the hot water heater, I'm going to match it up to the shape of the opening and I'm going to slowly push it inside and get around all the obstacles. I'll see in there there's a little setting where the gas tube sits on and I'll just go ahead and set it on top of that and we'll be ready to go. Here is everything put back together. I've got the inside panel bolted down. I've got the three tubes going up to the controller and I've got the uh, spark hooked back up. I'm going to check these three little connections with some soapy water, make sure there's no bubbles, and I'm going to show you what it looks like inside the uh, view glass. You can see the burner. Over there to the right is the pilot, the spark arrestor, and the sensor. I've got a nice uh, blue flame, and hopefully I've got enough airflow and everything is working correctly. And we'll have some hot water again. Um, from what I've read, this uh, heat sensor needs to be cleaned uh, about every five years. It develops too much corrosion on it and eventually you'll have to replace it but by that time you might have to replace your hot water heater and there you go there is the uh, state select gas hot water heater with a enclosed burner